Peace, 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 family. My name is Michael Jordan, and I am the Serious Alchemist. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the chosen seed, spiritual beings, spiritual warriors, gods, goddesses, or whatever, whatever name you choose to call yourself. This video is just about congratulations because you might say, Mike, well, congratulations for what? The congratulations is for the chosen seed, the spiritual beings that are here on the planet right now have been hit by a war machine and they still here. And I want to say congratulations. I want to say pat yourself on the back to that chosen seed, to the spiritual beings, to the spiritual warriors, to the gods, to the goddesses, whatever you choose to call yourself. You made it this far. You're taking care of your family. You're paying your bills. You know what I'm saying? And you're doing it well. And you wasn't supposed to do it well. You know what I'm saying? White supremacy was 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 supposed to destroy you, according to those people that you know produced it. You see what I'm saying? Um, but we we still here. You know what I'm saying? We still fighting the beast. You know what I'm saying? Uh, not only are we making it, we, a lot of us are, uh, doing very well, you know what I'm saying? So this video is just to say, uh, pat yourself on the back, chosen seed, spiritual beings, spiritual warriors, gods, goddesses, whatever you call yourself, pat yourself on the back, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying the war is over, you know what I'm saying? But, um, I'm just saying that. What we made it through, family, we weren't supposed to make it through, but we made it anyway, and we still here. And even the ones that did make it, right, that got caught up in their little traps, uh, they on the other side fighting for us. They on the front line on the other side. So did they really lose? You feel me? Because, you know, they can't, energy cannot be destroyed. It only uh, changes form. You know what I'm saying? Energy can't be destroyed. So really, they can't destroy anything especially when it comes to the chosen seed, the spiritual beings, the gods, the goddesses. You feel me? They can't destroy us. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us been here many lives. You know what I'm saying? And a good book on that is um, Discovering Your Past Lives by, uh, what's the name of that book? By uh, Chadwick. Here, let me see. Hang on a second. Let me grab his book. Uh, uh, what's the name of this book? Uh, Gloria Chadwick is her name. Uh, you know, I always try to give y'all a book or something so y'all ain't got to wait on me. Y'all can go check this stuff out for yourself. Gloria Chadwick, Discovering Your Past Lives. Excellent book. Excellent book. Um, you know what I'm saying? We've been here many times. So, you know what I'm saying? We don't die. It's just that this brain, every time it comes back, it can't remember a lot of the lives that it's already, that this soul has already lived. And now all the uh, physical body it's been through. But with this book, there's exercises in here to where you can start to remember lives that you've lived, previous lives. It's really a good book, family. Just really check it out. But I'm just, you know, I I I just want to say that they can't they can't stop us. And now that we got cosmic powers online, we got cosmic powers online now, family, that are in this war that are involved in this war. Now we got Big Mama on the scene. And for those of you who don't may not know who Big Mama is, uh, she's known as Nut in Egyptian mythology. She's known as Nut, or in the Kabbalah, she's known as Ein Sof Er, the triple blackness of space, the triple intelligence of space. She's on the scene. So, I mean, it's time now, we in Aquarius age, all things will be revealed. You feel me? So I'm just saying that for us to be hit by a war machine and able to do the things we do and still doing it and doing it well, that shows you that we gods, we goddesses, we spiritual beings, we chosen seeds, we chosen it. We was chosen to do this. This is no accident. This is no mistake. And now we got cosmic powers on the scene. That's why I try to give up books and um, everything on these uh, spiritual sciences and these so-called dark sciences because ain't you know there's nothing evil or spooky about it it's, it's really all about transformation 
You feel me? So, um, yeah, this video is to say, why, you know, y'all made it through. A, a, and I ain't saying it's over. I'm not saying the, the, the war is over. You know what I'm saying? We still got a way to go. But what I am saying is that we got cosmic powers on the scene now. And you could tap in, right? And um, I want to give a shout out to all the sisters that are out there teaching. I mean, the wave of the feminine energy that's out here teaching right now is incredible. And it's beautiful to see. You know, uh, you got Conjure Queen, you got the Spirit Doula, you got uh, Sister Myra. And Sister Myra been doing it a long time, so she ain't she ain't new to the scene. But, I mean, um, uh, you got Miss Bliss out here. You got uh, Sister Vicki Diller out here doing great work. Um, I mean, there's so many. And I may not name all of them. You know, those are just a few that I named. But those sisters need to be going to check out. Go check out their work. And matter of fact, I have a brother that has a channel um melanated roots go check out his work he's doing good work as well uh yeah melanated roots family go check out his work he's doing a great great work over there so i would say go check him out but i'm saying that this video is just pat yourselves on the back family because y'all doing a great job for overcoming all that you've overcome thus far and if you're facing something right now you're going to overcome that as well just just know that and that's why I'm making this video because we have something inside of us that's so powerful and so strong. We got chakra system. We got the Kundalini that resides at the base of the spine, right? And start understanding them chakras and understanding how they work in your life and how the root chakra and how the sacral chakra and how the solar chakra and the throat chakra and the crown, how they all work. And once you get up here to the crown chakra, where you are, you know what I'm saying? And learn how to uh, raise that that kundalini energy at the base of the spine. Be powerful. And all that's on the inside. And, I'll, I'll, you know, meditation is will help you tap into that. Meditation can do a lot of that. It may start out five minutes, five, ten minutes a day. Close your eyes. You know what I'm saying? There's no really special way to do it. A lot of people say you got to do this or that. No, no, no. Close your eyes. You'll learn. You'll figure out your higher self will lead you how to do it. Your higher self will tell you how to meditate. You know what I'm saying? Your higher self will lead you. I promise you it will. That's why we have that sacred proverb, know thyself. Feel me? Know thyself. Thyself is within the parts of you that are within you, your chakras, your kundalini. You know, there's people out here that will say that's fake, but that's not true because there's tons of books and there's tons of information on it, on the kundalini and on the chakra system. You know what I'm saying? And I maybe that's another video. I can give you some books on uh, what to get on kundalini and on the chakra, but I could there, there's one book on the chakra that I know it's called The Wheels of Life by uh, uh what's her name? The Wheels of Life. And I know you can just put in the Wheels of Life and it the book will come up. But I think it's Judy something. I'm not sure, but uh on the chakras and the kundalini, on the kundalini energy, a good book to get would be uh it was just one I was looking at the other day. Uh, where is that book at? Um uh da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. And, mm, I can't see it at this moment, but I was looking at it the other day. But yeah, uh, family, um, yeah, I just this video is to say pat yourself on the back, chosen seed, spiritual being, spiritual warriors, gods, goddesses, pat yourself on the back because you've been hit by a serious war machine and you're still here, and it didn't work. So it means. What that really, think about what that means. That means if all the shit they've done in the past didn't work, that means all the shit they've gone do in the future is not going to work. So there's a lot of people out here, you know, promoting fear mongering, you know what I'm saying, to put money in their pocket or whatever you may be. But that's something that I'm never going to do is promote no fear mongering, fear mongering. You know what I'm saying? Because um, I know that we, we going to make it because if we made it this far, and now that we got the cosmic family on the team, I mean, on the scene, what can stop us? So I'm telling y'all, check out Big Mama, which is I ain't so fur. Check it out in Kabbalah. You can check it out in many systems. The Egyptian system is newt. You know what I'm saying? And matter of fact, I'll probably do a, a video on the great black mama to come. And I also family wanted to share some of my uh, paintings. I got a couple of paintings I wanted to share with the family. I do paint a little bit now and then. This is a Braxis. 
I learned about him through the uh, uh, Gnosis, through the Gnostic system, by reading a lot of Gnostic books on Gnosticism. And this is how I learned about Abraxas. He's the god of light and darkness, a rooster god with, with serpent feet. You feel me? And a shield. You see a shield right there. So, yeah, check check Abraxas out. Just do a Google search. They'll tell you all about him. But this is one painting that I did on Abraxas. If you're interested, you know, you like it, hit me up. Maybe we can work something out. Um, also have another painting over here. Um, I'll probably have to turn the camera for y'all to see this painting. But this painting is um, right there. It's called The Pagan Dance. See if I could put a little light on it over there for y'all. Put a little light on it over there. You will see it now. But that's the pagan dance right there. And anybody who's been studying um spiritual systems, I know what that is. Anybody who's been studying spiritual systems. And above that light right there, I know y'all know that's Dr. York. Um, um, I studied some of his stuff earlier, younger, younger. Uh, when I was a young, young man, I studied a lot of his works. So um Shout out to uh, Dr. York. Um, yeah, the brother was instrumental in my life. You know what I'm saying? Um, I study a lot of people's work family. I mean, a lot of people, a lot of people. I don't, you know, I don't uh, just stick with one person and study one person's work. I study uh, a lot of people's works. So, and yeah, Dr. York was one of them. So yeah, family. Um, I made this video and I also want to say I know there's some artists out there that got some 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 hell of an artwork out there. Show it, man. Make a channel and show it because my daughter does artwork and her artwork is beautiful. And I tell her all the time, baby, you need to um show your artwork. Start she say, I will, Dad, I will, you know. But I'm on her all the time to show her artwork because her artwork is beautiful. She's really a good artist, and I know she gets it from her daddy because I'm an artist myself. So yeah, let me get Laxmi back in the scene. I can't um, do my video. Feel right, Laxmi ain't on the scene because Laxmi, yeah, everything, all the uh, financial blessings come through Laxmi. All the finances, Laxmi makes sure she stands over that. But yeah, family, um, if there's anybody out there interested in some some of my paintings, hit me up in the email below. Um, and yeah, I, I know there's some people out there with some cold-blooded artwork out there, but they just shy not to show it like I used to be. And today I just showed mine for the first time. So you feel me? So I, hopefully I inspire somebody else to show their artwork. And I got more to show too, family. That That's not it. That's just the ones I have in here right now. So, you know, stay tuned for more again. So my name is Michael Jordan. I am the Serious Alchemist. If you're interested in a reading from me, hit me up in my email. I'll leave it in the description box. If you're interested in any of my paintings, uh, hit me up um, in the description box. Okay. My name is Michael Jordan. I'm a serious alchemist. Peace.